But, well, yes, but, you, can, you can outsource. I think you, you can you can do functions absolutely. Uh, you can yeah. also do you can also do tasks. So a, a classic example for me is uh, part of your marketing operation. You might want to outsource the, the whole marketing function, but at some point, nearly everybody wants a new website. It's a nightmare. Unless yeah. you've got really good web people in your business, I source it. It's just a nightmare because you spend so long doing this sort of thing. And, and my other thought was, listen, watching the responses come in, there are quite a few who are, who are young businesses. And to some extent, what Nikki talked about is if you've got, if you're established and you're trying to make a decision with young businesses, I think it's a lot easier. Clearly, you've got to outsource, I would argue, things like, unless you happen to be one of these professions, the legal side, the accountancy side. There could be a whole stack of the... Uh, the, off, the support of your office IT or your from working from home IT. There's a lot of stuff you just go get rid because it's not core to your business. And, and I agree with the point that says what's core, stick with that. And even if you say things like sales are core to me, which I you would expect most people to say, I suspect there are even going to be cases where you'll say, I need help just refining, developing the message. I need I need to bring out resources to help me from time to time. Uh, so that would that would be my view. And then in my case, I outsource. Uh, virtually all of the development that we do but the pressure that comes on for us is how do you manage that successfully so you've got a budget you've got yeah. a budget resource into that but that doesn't happen by itself and then as it grows you might say well look within that there are various elements one might be capturing customers requirements and i would insource that it's the stuff i do personally i i like that being in the business because that's where you build intellect in the business therefore you you would split the function i source parts and insource parts uh, and then my final thought I'm conscious of time was when you're outsourcing, be aware of intellectual property. Who owns what you, who owns it? Good point. Thank you. Uh, point. I, personally, again, first time I ever did a website for a company, made the mistake. The other guy owned it, which was horrendously upsetting and very expensive. So be, be clear who owns yeah. the results of the work.